Good morning, guys. So what you're about to watch now is interview I did yesterday with Stephen. Stephen, who's one of the co-founders from Walk and Talk, um, what they're doing regarding our community, I think is amazing. I think it's much needed, especially in talent, especially in job sound. And if you get a chance, please, please, please share the video because I think the conversation we had between two fellas who met for the first time, who are going through pretty much, who have been through anxiety, who have been through depression, who have been through addiction and have found a way out and are looking to help other people. So I think there's somebody out there that needs to hear this uh, conversation. So please leave feedback, please share it, and also please be kind to Stephen, who's uh, shy on the camera, but he took his time out uh, to do it. So enjoy, let's go. Like this, I don't feel you can see anywhere you want to see. Yeah. I should be seeing right here as well. Today. He looks bigger than you, Michael. I know yeah. he does. I should. <laughs> 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 yeah. ah, okay. <laughs> Mike, hey. the gym. Little, little Mike in the corner. <laughs> uh, Stephen, thanks so much for uh, taking time out to do seven questions with my guy, Series 2. Uh, the reason why I actually come over today is because obviously I came across your page, uh, Walk and Talk, through uh, social media through Facebook and what yourself and Anto are doing for the community, I think it's absolutely amazing. I think it's something that a lot of people can benefit from. So there's a couple of questions I want to ask you, but I want to start from the beginning. Obviously, we're going to get to that point uh, where we talk about walk and talk yourself. But I want to go back to the beginning. Um, what, what, what brought you to that point? Um, well, I've well, done things the weekend. Oh, look, oh, look, uh, yeah, like, Anto was off the drink, and um, I, I stopped doing, like, I was doing coke, and, and I just wasn't happy with myself. Yeah. So, we, we both were waking up at half five in the morning every morning, we were both chatting to each other, we were both bored over here, had nothing to do, nowhere to go that hour in the morning. Mm. So, look, I went and said to him, I said, Anto, do you want to go on a walk? And so, he was delighted, because he, he always wanted someone to ask him to something to do, because no one, you know, we get up that hour in the morning and go on a walk. So yeah. we decided to go on a walk. We were trying to battle something. Where we, two of us were trying to battle a problem that we had. So we thought it was nice to just clear our heads. And we went up and walked. It was absolutely fabulous. Mm. We, we did. We never thought. We just started chatting away. We were just talking about everything and anything. like, And we just thought it helped us. And, and at this point, was a, the addiction that you had, was a, did you stop? And then you were trying to figure out what to do with your time? Or was it a case where you were still trying to stop and no, we stopped it before then. You stopped we stopped before it before then. We did stop it before we we, we uh, started up walk and talk. We were we were stopped a couple of weeks. Yeah. A couple of, we were stopped a while. We were beforehand. You know yeah. that way. We just needed something to do with our time to keep ourselves busy to stop us going down that road again. Yeah. So yeah. You, like you know you know, like say you say you go you don't have a walk on a Friday. You've nothing to do on a Saturday. What are you mm. going to think about doing? Exactly. Going on a drink something like that. So we decided that we done a walk that would stop us from you know interacting with certain people. Go on, and I just go to bed early then, wake up for the walk. And um, yeah, it was amazing. So two of us started off, and then the next week, there was next day, there was six of us. So we started walking twice a day because it was that good. We just loved it. Wow. And for me, uh, when it comes to addiction, that's something that I've battled with myself. And for me, it started from a point of loneliness. It started from me, I don't know. I, it, you know what? Going back, we, we went away to Portugal for my, my brother's wedding. And I never really got along with my mum. Mm. So at the time I lived with, uh, we went to Portugal, my wife, my ex-wife's house, their parents' house is in Portugal. So I was staying with them. And then my brother and the rest of the family was staying somewhere else. I lost that connection. I felt so alone because the fact that I'm not with my own family, but yeah, I'm with my wife's family, but there's still that connection missing. And the loneliness of that, and in Portugal you can get drugs from, yeah. that was the first time I tried it. And the first time you do something like that, you always are the high, and yeah. you don't think about how it's gonna end, you know. So that's how it started for me. How did it start for you? What made what triggered? Well, everyone does it when they go out drinking. So you know, I, I jumped on the board, and I just I tell you the truth, I wasn't happy with myself doing it. I just turned me into a different person. I mm. got paranoid. I wasn't going out enjoying my nights. It wasn't me. I, I jolly. I, you know, I'm out. I, I go speaking to people. You yeah. know, I'm just that sort of person. But I wasn't talking to people. And I just got fed up a long time. I just kept saying, I have to stop, I have to stop. Just got fed up with everything. And I think also you mentioned to me earlier on before we started taping was that when you're doing uh, 
for me, it was cocaine was my choice of drug and alcohol, obviously. When you're doing it, you, you build this false confidence. Mm. You truly believe I'm not conf- confident until I do the drug yeah, or, yeah, 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 or yeah. have a drink. But it's actually That's what I've mean. learned after I stopped is that I'm actually more confident now. Without I'm it. actually without it. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So is well, that the same for you as well? Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. <laughs> I, to, I wanted to stop because I was just turning me into a different person. Mm. Well, I was just hiding, wasn't answering the phones, people. But I just felt when I stopped, I just felt fucking amazing. I, I joined the gym. You look amazing. I, I was too. already in the gym and all. <laughs> but, but I was in the gym, but I just went more and more. So yeah. at the end of the day, right? So you do drugs, right? You're doing it on the weekend, right? Mm. You're going to the gym all week. So you do drugs on the weekend. What are you doing? You're not gonna go to the gym till Wednesday or Thursday. Yes. So you're recycling all that again. So you're wasting all that hard effort, all your hard time getting up for the gym, and then you're throwing it away just on one night out. Exactly. You're not getting up early, you're drained, you're moody. You can't, just, spend time with your kids. you can't spend time with kids. You can't spend. But you're staying in bed, like yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? It's just a different atmosphere. Yeah. So I go out and I go to the gym every morning at half six in the morning. I sit in the car. Actually, sit in the car park a half an hour before it opens. On that jolly. Yeah, I'm not that good. On <laughs> that <laughs> jolly, just to go into. I just, I just want to change. I just love it. I just, mm. it just took so much away from me that I was just disgusted with myself. You know, I just, I just never. I just. Like I said, so I'm waking up at half six in the morning. Where before I'd have to set an alarm for myself to go to the gym. Most times I wouldn't even go because it's just a one stupid fucking night out. Exactly. And uh, a lot of times yeah. it's actually usually just a couple of hours. Yeah, that's what Not it is. Night, it's but it's just hours, it's yeah. taking the strain in you. It's just taking too much out of you. Yeah. You just can't do that night. Like and people say, oh, look, it's only one night, but that one night is affecting you. I know you're saying it's uh, like, oh, look, I deserve it. I work hard. You can deserve a few drinks as well. Like, look, I, I, I'm not perfect. I can't mm. turn around and hit, talk about everybody and say this is wrong because I've done it. Like, what well, I just feel like that if you learn how to not do it, mm. you find that one thing that you, that's missing in your life, like the gym, like a walk, like something fitness that always helps you. Out, yes. That you will change your life. That's what I was going to ask you next. Actually, is uh, how did you? Because the one thing that we have in common is the fitness side. Of yeah, it. yeah, because yeah. For me, it was going to the gym mm. and. No, no, I'm gonna train tomorrow. And it, a lot of people that know me personally, they can tell days that I don't train because my mood is different. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah. did you always train, or was it something that you started to take more seriously after? I've you always trained. Stuff? Always trained seven days a week, twice a week. Yeah. Always loved it, but I was getting pulled back by one thing all the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I was missing. It, I was starting it, but I only started to lift really heavy, do really well in the gym. When I hit everything on the head, yes. never lifted 145 in my life, yeah. never even tried that, it. So I can achieve things. I never thought I'd ever talk on the phone. What was it again? What was it again? Well, I'm proud what of it. What was it? it was just, <laughs> just in case. 145. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like, I just, yeah, I, I just love it all. Like, you know, it's, um, it's amazing. Like, just never thought I'd see myself uh, stand up, walk, and talk. Yeah. Never thought I'd get comfortable on the phone. There I am, never off the phone, always taking pictures, recording myself. But I'm to get all that back by stop doing Talkless. one thing. <laughs> Do you know that way? Like, and what was it that, like, now we're going into walk and talk now. What, yeah. what, what made you think of the community? What made you think of, uh, um, obviously, Anto's not here with us, your partner, Anto. What made you yeah. think, because I... You, and those camera shows. <laughs> he's, he's great, he is, he's so, great. Yeah, so what made you get to that point where you say, okay, because obviously the idea was it came from somewhere. Right, it came from me feeling so good about myself when I stopped doing things. So I said, look, I just thought that if we do something like to give people something to look forward for, right? Mm. So I had 10 lads, 15 lads, it was all lads at the start, 15 of them. So they all stopped doing cocaine, they all stopped drinking on a Friday night, which these are lads that just don't stop. They just don't do this. But they yeah. all got addicted to walking. They went out the next week, they all bought hiking boots, they all bought. Now, I'm not saying that they stopped, I'm just saying they put it on hold. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They made, it like, and then I started questioning them, saying, look, what's, do you feel better? Like, and I had to say, not one of them said no. They all said, yeah, I have more money in my pocket. I get up earlier for work, I'll do this, there's more going up. They all admitted it. So mm-hmm. then I knew that this is a good thing. I said to myself, right, this is, this is what I want to do. Like, it's just, without saying it, I didn't want to put on the page, this is for, like, no, but really, I'd love the people just to look forward for something. Like, it just yes. does, like, if you're on drugs on a Friday, like, you're not going to go on a walk. There was, everyone up there stops everything. You know, women, everybody stops everything that they, that they have, and they go on the walk and enjoy yeah. it. Wow. Now, not everyone has, but it's not for everybody with problems. 
as yeah, far yeah. as for mental health, as far uh, people are just let it's uh, it's for people to suffer with everything. Yeah, it's just to get them out of the house. Come but here, I, I can help people too, with too, them. Too, too too many people spend too much time in the house. Yes, yes. So even just the fact that you, you could be living a perfect life. Yeah. Just going out for that walk. Yeah. First thing in the morning is fucking amazing. But you don't realise you're talking about your problems. You don't exactly, really mean, exactly. Like, you know, we there's all have people them. with drink problems going up. There's people with all sorts of problems. But we don't even talk about like, it. It's easy to talk to a stranger. Mm. You know, I wouldn't talk to friends like this. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm, I'm proud of telling the story to people going up there because people always think that you're perfect and you have everything because you walk. Everyone has their flaws. Do you yes, know what I mean? Yes. Like, we all hide certain things. Like, do, you, do you know what I mean? So it's up to. I love telling people because people think that oh, look, he's perfect. I'm not. No one's perfect in this life. We all make mistakes, but we can all make them better. Like, do you know what I mean? Yes. But yeah. I just love people to realise that it can once you stop something in your life that everything, the whole life changes. Mm. You have money in your pocket. Your family goes better. Everything goes better for you. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's what I found. Wow. I've never been so happy in my whole life, and I'm not afraid to say that. Like. And fucking fair play to. I play to you. Yeah. Now going forward, uh, how how can people people help with uh, walk and talk? How can the community help? Is it um, donation or I don't really like donation. I've got to set up a GoFundMe page that people can probably donate three euro tops. Mm. Don't want to take too much money off people. We just really want to cover buses. Sometimes the raffles can take. Look, I sometimes I, I tie up a Friday. I'm on the phone, I have a family at home, a little baby girl as well, there's Sienna as well, Mabel, but it can take up a lot of time doing this, but it's worth it, I get paid for so yeah. it, but it's just the raffles and all take up a lot of time, we have to fund probably 450 or every week to make this work, it's a lot of money, mm. it's a lot of money to keep this on float, like people don't realise there's a lot of time that goes into this, it's not just a walk, it's, it's organising the buses, it's organising a place to go, mm. it's organising how many people, then you're worried about they're getting buses, the have phone. I have I got the money? No, like have I got enough of people to cover the bus? Am I throwing away money? Uh, like we don't want to waste the money. Do yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. it's 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 hard to get. So we're trying to we'd love to get exact numbers for people. Like if someone wanted to help, Jesus Christ, they could pay for a bus one week for us. Do you know what I mean? A company come in and, and help to pay for the buses. Yeah. You know, one or two weeks a month or whatever. Like Brilliant. that would help because Brilliant. it just it's a lot of pressure on us. And uh, go find me if you start the. I, I, I don't know. I haven't done it yet. Well, I think I think that's actually really well, good. But I was told yeah. to do that because off, yeah. that means then all the money is um, nowhere that's gone. It's all yes. calculated. I just feel I just don't like taking money off people. I don't like that part. You, they're not handing it to you. Yes, yes, that's what I'd rather. Yeah, I'd rather perfect. people not give money just to help out on things like you know certain things. Yeah, and uh, so just just one more time. What days? Uh, what days? So is this? We do every Saturday because it's too much money. We, we, it's probably nearly impossible, and we have families, yes. so we like to spend a bit of time with our family. So Saturday we feel, um, you know, seven, what time on Saturday? Seven o'clock at the Jobstown Garage. So seven a.m. Jobstown Garage uh, for walk and talk for anybody that, yeah, that's you could be living the perfect life and you want to meet new people. Just yeah. meet us, meet up in Jobstown Garage. I'm gonna get involved eventually. <laughs> now I, I do have Sabrina, come over a second. I do have somebody here that's actually part of the the walk and talk. I'm just gonna take your phone. Yeah, yeah, okay, no problem. I just wanted to from your from your side of it as somebody that came in, how did you hear about the walk and talk crew? From the, I seen it on Facebook. Yeah. On Facebook. Advertising Facebook. And how you find it there regarding uh, I find it great as Steve says it's stuff to drink and then yeah. wherever on the wherever you're into on Friday night. Yeah. Well. You're gonna get up there and and you, you, you have your, your daughter. Was yeah, my daughter, eleven year old. Eleven year old. She got up at quarter past six for us. Mm. Uh, do you have any questions for regarding walk and talk? I think, as a community, because we're doing so much, I understand you don't want to take candidates. It's the kind of thing you don't want to be asking people for this and this. Yeah. But I do think that local garages, car garages, butchers, whatever, like apparently the businesses. Pack we do pack lunches and stuff for people. Yeah, and Dolores Stacy, this is amazing. She makes all the sandwiches for us. Um, is she, yeah, yeah, she just sorts all that out, which is, takes a little bit of pressure off us. Some weeks, you know, she go away or something like that, so then me and mother would do that for, for us. But you're yeah, right there, the Even more help. There's gone to local butchers or local anywhere, groceries, or it's in Jobstown. So yeah. Jobstown Centre. A kind of shop somewhere and set up a little thing of right. Can we leave an envelope in here and everybody, when you're walking past, throw two euro into it, whatever, go on a Thursday, collect the envelope, you have enough fire supplies or mm. whatever, like I think if you're doing so much for people, 
and the way that Sabrina would say is get lunch with me a bottle of water and crisp for everything free. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's also yeah. 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 kind of walk. It's not that doors yeah. and like we want everything. Like you to take a lot of time yeah. and money out of your own pockets and your yeah. family lives as well. That I think if they're doing so much for the community, that the community should be behind you. The, yeah, the will, community yeah. are brilliant. When we pour up raffles, like, uh, the community buy them. Yeah. Like, tickets are gone in seconds, which is amazing. Yeah, but that's uh, taking time for you. Yeah, like, like, yeah, it is. It is a bit messy, but do you know what? We're only starting, though. We're only starting. Look, listen to me. We can't just yeah, ask for people for this and that. Yeah. We, we were afraid because no one knew this was going to take off like this. This just took off. Like, this just got bigger and bigger and bigger. I got social media was out there, people was saying they never heard of this before. And I'm, I'm I was trying to explain in my videos. We don't have to, but Joe's town doesn't have to be the only people that do this. No, of course. There's places. There's someone from Clondalkin was up there today, was there? <laughs> Yeah, there was, yeah, yeah, a fellow from Clondalkin. There's no in other places like this, like, no. there's no one offering this. Yeah, they're offering jogs and all that sort of stuff, clubs and all. This is not a club. This is free of charge for everything. This is for mental health. This is, this is to help people. Mm. This is to listen to everyone's story. This, no one judges anybody. Mm. So this is what this is all about. This is just to get out of the house and enjoy the walk. Wow. That's what I think so. Like, really no, you know? I think uh, on that note as well, I think we're going to finish it up there. I just, I, for me personally, when I seen it and I didn't think it was going to take off, because I'm following you through social media and obviously a couple of my clients go to, to the walks as well. I can't live in the fact that it's in the community that I live in and mm. it's something that's dear to me. So I, I haven't done it yet, but I think what you're doing is absolutely amazing. And it we should be. You should be. You should be yeah. really proud of yourself and uh, yeah, me and Ando, me and are very proud. Like you know, people, the message we get is unbelievable. Yeah. Like you know, when people say this came at the right time, Stephen and like uh, people thank us every day. Oh, we was in a bad place. This had to help me, and them yeah. they're touching messages like you know yeah. they're really, and that's what makes you do it better. Like you know, and for me as well, what we're gonna do, as Sabrina says, there uh, we're gonna organize that. Uh, we we used to do Sunday classes, so we're gonna Sunday class and we're gonna get all the crowd. To come over and get yeah, some man. free sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> uh, see you, man. Thanks very much. I really appreciate it. Absolute pleasure. Thanks a lot, okay? That's it. That's it. We're good.